Hi, uh, my name is Faris Iskandar. I'm uh, in the legal department of Petronas ICT. My parents didn't force me to become a lawyer, although they are both lawyers actually. <laughs> I'm the type of person who likes diversity. I don't see myself as someone who, okay, let's say I graduated in one particular area, that's what I'll be doing for the rest of my life. I graduated in biomedical science. After three years of studying, I continued to do my law degree as a second degree, only for two years because that time they offered like a graduate entry. Then I saw an application called Young Graduates Program offered by Petronas ICT. And they were willing to accept anyone regardless of their degree. So I gave it a try and I got the offer. To be honest, it was, it was quite a challenging period for me because when I realized that science was not my, my path for me to, to go on, I was still doing my degree. But at the same time, I have to start thinking of applying for law school, you know, because I don't want to waste my first degree because I was already halfway, not more than halfway through already, I was about to end my final year. But at the same time, I have to do more research on law. So that time, I think the most important thing is learn how to focus one thing at a time. Although I have seen the bigger picture, let's say, okay, I want to go into law school, but I know that I'm still in my science school that I have to complete. So I have to focus, okay, graduate in biomedical science first. After that, the moment you have received your degree, then straight away you turn your gear into a law student. I did some research and I know that big corporations such as Petronas, they do more than just oil and gas, you know, and they also have various departments, divisions, even all kinds of uh, social activities that I feel I can be part of, which somehow motivates me to give it a try. There are a lot of factors that, that influence your decision. You have to consider, okay, whatever that you want to do, is it something realistic? And whether you will be having uh, job opportunities when you graduate. Our parents will say, oh, I want my kids to become architects, lawyers, doctors, but now there's a wide range of job that you can consider that maybe didn't even exist 10, 15 years ago. Recently, I heard that you can do some sort of a social media influencer management. That thing didn't exist five years ago. And in fact, lawyers end up nowadays being politicians, you know, actors, comedians. So don't feel that, okay, I'm doing law now, I'm, I'm not doing well, I don't think this is the right place for me. It's the end of everything, no. Just be calm, you know, go on with whatever you're doing. One day you'll be able to appreciate the knowledge that you learn in law because law is very flexible. To get a job is not easy. So I was actually uh, blessed that I got the offer to work in Petronas ICT. It came to a point where I felt a bit lost because, hey, Faris, you're a lawyer, but you are in an IT company. How, how does that work, you know? Because majority of the people here I'm working with are all technical people. You know, they speak in IT lingo and stuff. So being someone from the law background, it's very hard to fit in because people do not understand your language, right? So as you know, just now I mentioned that I did my first degree in biomedical science for three years and then I continued two years uh, for my law degree. Some people may ask, wow, you took five years to study. I'm sure you spent a lot of money. Since you changed from one field to a totally different field, when I told them whether I still benefit from what I learned last time, I said yes. Because when I was in science stream or in the science field, you can recall from your school days where you have to learn how to identify hypotheses, you know, finding variables, evidence and stuff. I actually applied the same method, it's just in a different name, when I was in my law school. Because when a case was given to me, I need to identify the cause of the problem, uh, what were the variables, what cause affected the, uh, let's say, the judgment of, of the court, you know, things like that. If you don't have a structured 
way of thinking which I learned in science you may have problem in solving certain things so I don't think that it's a waste that I took three years to study science and then I switched gear because science taught me how to think logically rationally which I feel that I can apply anywhere regardless of what I do later in life I will advise people who uh, let's say they receive some sort of calling that okay you know this is not my thing I want to switch gear is it okay is my parent uh, will my parents scold me and stuff like that I say well as long as you believe in yourself right never say that it's a waste because whatever experience that you went through as long as it is something good right knowledge is good nothing is bad about studying you will definitely be able to use it at one point in the future I think what is important is can you visualize yourself being in that career in the long run and the best way for you to make the decision sometimes is for you to go through it first once you have made that decision to study law tell yourself that no matter how hard you think the course is don't regret because i went through it the first time when i did law i thought that i made the wrong choice because when i first read all those judgments from the court the, the judge and stuff like what language are they using it's english but a whole new level I was so depressed at that time. I thought I made the wrong decision. I did some self reflection. I said it's okay. You know, give yourself time, right? That one day you will see that regardless of what you end up after your law school, there's always something that you learn during your uh, university days as as a law student that you can apply in anywhere you go because law is around you. Sometimes you will not get something that you want immediately. you know good things will come at the right time at the right place but as long as you do not give up on yourself i can assure you one day you will be able to get something that you want have faith in yourself i think that's the most important thing